Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Rudolf Spielmann and Rudolf Lermet. This awesome chess game was played in Magdeburg, Germany in 1927. Rudolf Spielmann had white pieces and he started with e4. Rudolf Lermet played e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to c3, the standard move. D takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight to d7, intending knight from g to f6, knight to f3, knight from g to f6, knight takes knight on f6, check, knight takes knight, bishop to d3, black to move, h6 was played, c5 attacking white center, and bishop to e7 are the two most played moves. h6 was played, preventing bishop to g5. Queen to e2, bishop to d6, bishop to d2 preparing to castle queenside. Rudolf Lermet castled kingside and Spielmann castled queenside. Bishop to d7, knight to e5, White knight is well placed on e5. c5, attacking white center. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Rudolf Spielmann played the best move. It is very simple. d takes on c5, attacking the bishop. And black must choose between bishop takes on c5 and bishop takes knight. If bishop takes on c5, then g4, and the annoying white knight in steel, well placed on e5. So, Rudolf Lermet captured the knight, hoping that he will not have problem on dark squares. Queen takes bishop on e5, bishop to c6 attacking the pawn, on g2 how would you defend the pawn? Perhaps f3 looks like a natural move, but the attack is the best defense. Bishop to f4, what is this doing? Queen to e7, if bishop takes on g2, then black queen would get in trouble. Back to our game. Queen to e7, queen to d4, intending bishop to d6, rook from f to d8, bishop to d6, and the white dark square bishop is now the star on the dark squares. Queen must move, queen to e8, rook from h to g1. The plan is very simple, isn't it? g4, g5. b6, queen to h4, b takes on c5, bishop to e5, threatening to take the knight. Queen to e7, and now White play the move that is asking to be played, and that is g4, intending g5. c4, attacking white bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Again, the attack is the best defense. g5, attacking the knight, knight to d7. If c takes on d3, then g takes on f6. And after the queen moves to safe spot, rook takes on g7 check. So, Lermet played knight to d7. If g takes on h6, then queen takes queen on h4. Taking the pawn would cost white the queen. And who likes losing the queen? This is now the most interesting moment of the game. How would you continue? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause or did you find? Are you ready to see the move? The move is... What is this? Is this a mouse slip? No, no, no. There was no mouse in the room. This was a well-calculated jaw-dropping queen sacrifice. Pawn takes queen, what else? Pawn takes pawn on h6, discover check. K 
Talking to a Fate. White played a move and Black resigned and the move is Rook to G8 check. Vermet resigned in view of this continuation. King takes Rook. H7 check. King to F8. Pawn is pushed and promoted to something like Knight. No, no, no. Rook or Queen? Queen. Check. Mate. Wow. What a brilliant game by Rudolf Spielmann. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.